So one really good trade and one bad trade so far to start the day. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky here with TechBit Solutions. Wanted to break this down for you very, very quickly. I'm down about $2,000 on SQQQ as of right now, and I'm up a little bit over $10,000 on TQQQ. My TQQQ position is closed. My SQQQ position is still open. Uh, I see their potential to be uh, a pullback on the NASDAQ market. And if the market pulls on back, then SQQQ, of course, goes up. But what I quickly wanted to talk about is what's going on with the market today with a series of different economic reports that were released. Uh, you know, the, the main ones that I was paying attention to today were the ones that were released after the market opened, and that's the Chicago PMI and the Consumer Confidence Report. Chicago PMI came in at 44 with an expectation of 45, so a little bit lower than what was expected. Not necessarily the worst thing, right, because the Federal Reserve wants to see the economy slow down. Consumer Confidence, though, came in at 102.6 versus the expectation of 100 flat, and that, of course, came in a little bit higher than what was expected. What's to come tomorrow? We have the ADP, uh, ADP employment change. We have the jolts and the FOMC rate decision, one of the most important things. Today, after the market closes, we have AMD that's going to be reporting earnings. This is super, super important because AMD does have a pretty decent sized market cap. Um, and based off of how NVIDIA previously reported earnings, it's going to see how it actually um, you know, influences the overall market. So today it's AMD. I think tomorrow is PayPal. And then on Thursday, it's the big one and that Apple is going to be reporting earnings after the market closes and I will be live streaming that on the YouTube channel so make sure that you guys subscribe. But one thing that I want to show you guys very quickly is one of my big trades that I took today on TQQQ and it was just so beautiful. It was all caught in today's live trading session. Uh, the market sold off. It began to establish a support. I want to share with you my whole breakdown, my whole thought process. And again, if you're part of the LPP team, go watch today's uh, live trading video. But Market sold off, and I love being cash when the market sells off because, you know, at that point, I have the option of jumping into anything that I want to. I saw that the market was selling off, and I was like, okay, cool. We're going to go back down to retest yesterday's lows. It's not rocket science. I'm just looking at previous patterns, right? Market sold off. It began to consolidate. I began adding to or opening the position on TQQ. It wasn't necessarily going according to plan, and if anything, I was actually going to cut losses at 31 59, but it never broke below uh, 3160. Why that number? Um, well, based off of yesterday's lows, that was yesterday's kind of like general support range. So something to take into consideration, right? On the one minute time frame, again, a lot of consolidation. Then we finally, after all the economic reports were released, we began to indicate signs of an uptrend. We broke above the EMA, and that's when I began to step on the gas. It began to push, began to push, and again, the goal was to sell close to the moving average, and that's essentially what we did. We locked in profits, it pulled on back, I went back for a re-entry, it popped right back up again for a total of $10,336.91. Again, but not every trade goes according to plan. Right now, I'm down anywhere from 2K to about 1.2K on SQQQ because we're in that consolidation phase. Remember, don't open a position if you cannot tolerate the time that it might take for that stock to reverse, right? Or don't enter a position early, right? Because things can go south. And at that point, then I'll have to cut losses and I'll probably be down 2.5, maybe 3K at the point that I'm going to be cutting losses. But Again, it's super, super important to understand that during this week, because of what's going to happen tomorrow for the FOMC rate decision and Apple earnings, you know, after it releases on Thursday after the market closes, there's going to be a lot of volatility, right? There's so many economic reports that are being released today that, I mean, today's economic reports are done. We do have like AMD reporting earnings after the market closes. So I'm fine with trading now because there shouldn't be too many different reports that now influence the market during normal trading hours. But this is why I, I try to the best of my ability to stay cash during big economic reports, meaning that I don't have an open position because of the uncertainty. I can't predict the future. Neither can you, right? right? So why pretend like we can, right? And I would rather be, think about this, I would rather be late to a rally so I'd rather enter late, but when the stock is going up, then early to a sell-off, right? Because when you buy before something actually gets released, then if it sells off, at that point, you're just putting yourself in a really unfortunate scenario when there's an economic report that's about to be released. So just food for thought. Again, this week is going to probably be a very choppy week, just like last week. 
It's not the best for beginners, but again, I'm just always here to look out for you guys. I'd love to invite you to my live trading session tomorrow. And if you want to check it out, I go live every single morning right at Market Open. And it's the second link in the description down below. And I hope to see you there. I appreciate your time. Hope that earned a thumbs up. Again, I'll make sure that I update you guys if you're part of our LPP team under the trade ideas on my SQQQ position and also on Instagram, which is the third link in the description down below. Appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.